Well, we've got some zebras coming down to drink. It's not the big herd I was moving towards, but it was just such a gorgeous sight uh, that I couldn't help but stop. Now, I hear Byron has um, been having his morning coffee. I'm just going to try and move the vehicle a little bit closer. So in situations like this, when animals are drinking, it's always important to start the car, let it run for a few seconds, and I can see they're relaxed, and then I'll move a bit closer. So I started a bit further away, and uh, I slowly move a little bit closer, as not to spook them. See there's some walking in to drink, just arriving. Now. Byron's having his morning coffee and uh, you know what I think I'm going to have to one-up Byron today well let's see what have we got to one-up Byron he's having morning coffee but you see I think what Byron forgot is that he's on game drive and while one is having one's well you only one is only allowed to have one's morning coffee after they have found some animals Now, of course, Byron is just drinking coffee because he can't find any animals. But you know what? Senzo, would you like some coffee? Yes, please. I think Senzo and I, since we've found a few thousand of animals, and have another cup there, please, Senzo. And see, and um, of course, we're, 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 quite, we're quite fancy pants here in Kenya. So, you know, no drinking out of tin cups or whatever. We, we've got proper ceramic cups. Oh, let me get my cool box out. Because we're out, of course, for the whole day here, so we're, we're quite well stocked. Yes, now, unfortunately, we don't have to eat a goat anymore. It is over the days of eating goat. It was a trying time, um, a month and a plus of goat, so there we go. Very nice brown sugar. Would you like some milk with your coffee, Senzo? Yes. Oh, wonderful. There we go, we've got some milk in here as well. See, this is how you do coffee, Byron. Once you've found animals, then you're allowed coffee. You can't have coffee before you have animals. Aha. Lovely Kenyan brew as well. Uh, Ruth, while I'm pouring my coffee, I says some of those uh, zebras look pregnant. Uh, indeed they are, Ruth, and zebras will give birth throughout the year, so there's also a very good chance we might see a live zebra birth. I'll pass you the sugar now, Senzo. Here we go. And a spoon. Do you need a spoon? Did I pack a spoon? Oh dear. No, I did pack a spoon. I didn't forget the spoon and the milk. I, don't, I think this is quite nice. Whoopsie, making a bit of a noise here. An idyllic spot for a cup of coffee. What do you think, Ruth? Is it a good spot for a cup of coffee? I think it's a wonderful spot for a cup of coffee. Hello, Starlight. Starlight is wondering why would the zebras wade into the middle of the water like that one over there uh, to drink? Well, Oh, that's a good question. Now, you would think they would be a bit nervous of doing that because it's very possible there could be a large crocodilian hiding anywhere in in these little luggers that crisscross the Mara. I have seen some big crocs in them before. It could be that they just go, I think, personally, they're having a little bit of a respite from the plague of blighting, biting flies that are all over the Mara. Um, and that follow the herd around. So I think that's what's happening. Uh, just having a bit of a break from the, the biting flies. So if they go into the water like that, um, they get nice and wet. And then also if they go roll uh, on the dust, um, also the dust will stick to them and maybe keep the flies away a bit. Augusta, hello! Uh, zebras are indeed from the horse family, which we were asking. Oh, doesn't that sound lovely? And they are indeed from the horse family. I'm just um, passing some coffee back. 
oh, and can hear zebras making noise. So they're actually far more closely related to to donkeys uh, than than they are to, to to horses. But of course, donkeys are also part of the horse family. Yes, I mean, wait, I need. Wait, where did I, what did I do with my cup, Senzo? You can't have coffee by yourself. So, uh, we've got some lovely crowned cranes next to us as well. Um, and we saw some of it earlier this morning, but you can see we're still making our way towards that very big herd of zebra And there looks to be quite a few wildebeest in amongst them as well um, That are higher up, but while we're down here, we've got the lovely crowned cranes right next to us now, I'm very very fond of Kenyan coffee myself. Well, actually all East African coffee. I'd say my favorite coffee um, is uh, Kenyan um, or, or Tanzanian. Uh, Uganda and Rwanda also have some spectacularly wonderful coffee. Now all coffee of course is African and uh, so every single coffee culture in the world has its roots in Africa. Now uh, most of or the coffee actually comes originally from Ethiopia and uh, has been traded throughout the world. Okay, so well, I enjoy my coffee. Well, let me just finish up, up on the coffee here quickly. Now, of course, as I said, all coffee is African from Ethiopia uh, and was traded uh, via dows all through Africa. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee with a bird, well, two crowned cranes, a spur wing lapwing, and a wonderful big herd of zebras and we're going to as soon as I'm finished I'm going to go park myself in the middle of the flies and sit with the zebra so from myself and my bird across to Byron and another